Hello YouTube. Some ask if I could wire cut a chamfer end mill. Well, challenge accepted. Let's see if I can do this. So as a first step, I need some flutes in my carbide blank. It's a clamp to my spin fixture, which is tilted by 33 degrees, so I can wire cut the flutes. To get the start point for flute cutting on the right position, I've modeled the whole champ fan and milim fusion. So uh, star point is set, G code is uh, written and checked, now cutting. So uh, first cut is done, as my spin fixture isn't the precisest thing on earth, I have to do the roughing cut and the finishing cut in uh, one setup. So uh, the four flutes are done, next step is to cut the cutting edges with clearance angles. So uh, this is my setup for cutting the cutting edge. For indexing I use my height gauge which is set to center height of my spin fixture. So the wire is set to an angle in both directions. This should result in a clearance angle of about 12 degrees on the cutting edge. This isn't enough clearance, so I have to cut a second clearance angle on the cutting edge.
checking the clearance of the tool. Last step is a test cut in a piece of mild steel. Not a super nice finish, but it works. The surface finish of my test cuts was not so good. And on the first clearance angle you can see some uh, shiny spots like this. So the clearance angle isn't big enough and the tool rubs a little bit on the surface of the workpiece. So I want to try to recut the cutting edge with one clearance angle of about 20 degrees. As I can't set such a big clearance angle with the wire, I have to tilt the part about 10 degrees. So the clearance angle results from uh, tilting the part and uh, setting the wire to an angle. Tilting the part distorts the angle of the tool a little bit. I've modeled the whole setup in Fusion and measured the error. So I can hopefully correct the G-code for cutting the angle. So everything is set. I've decided to tilt the part 20 degrees to get enough clearance on the cutting edge. So uh, all four cutting edges are recut with more clearance angle. I've aligned the cutting edge with my height gauge to center height of my spin fixture and then tilted it 20 degrees. It's not the precisest way to do this, but I don't have a dividing head for my EDN machine. So uh, checking the clearance of the tool, the cutting edge should be the highest point. So about 0.5 millimeters of clearance, that should be enough.